What's up, y'all? Thank you for tuning in to the Luxor YouTube channel. My name is Colin Harper. I'm the head of research and content at Hashrate Index, and today I'm sharing with you our performance test of the highly anticipated Antminer S21. This is part two of our Antminer S21 review series. You can check out part one, where we examine the S21's design, in this video's description. As I mentioned in part one, the Antminer S21 is the most efficient and powerful Bitcoin mining rig model to date, which Bitmain revealed at the company's 2023 Digital Mining Summit last September. Bitmain began shipping the first orders of the S21 this January. Now to add to our last review, which looked at the S21's specifications, interior and exterior design, let's fire it up and take a look at the S21's performance. For this test, we placed the S21 in a temperature controlled box to run it at 10, 20, 25, and 40 degrees Celsius for 30 to 60 minutes at each temperature level. To start, we ran the S21 in the temperature controlled box at 10 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, the rig produced a hash rate of 200 terahashes a second at 3,470 watts for an efficiency of 17.4 joules per terahash, which is slightly better than the rig's advertised efficiency. Notably, at this low temperature point, we noticed that the PSU gradually ramped up to increase voltage from the standard 13 volts up to 14 volts. After increasing the temperature to 25 Celsius, the rig achieved 203 terahashes a second, but it consumed more power at 3,620 watts for an efficiency of 17.9 joules per terahash. Now to really put the S21 to the test. We cranked up the temperature to 40 degrees Celsius, and the S21 produced 202 terahashes a second at 4,000 watts for an efficiency of 19.8 joules per terahash. After bumping the temperature above 40 Celsius, we observed for the first time that the S21 stock firmware started to underclock. After underclocking, the real-time hash rate dropped from 202 terahashes a second to 185 terahashes a second with a power consumption of 3,700 watts and an efficiency of 20 joules per terahash. This temperature management feature gives the S21 an upper limit operating temperature that is 5 degrees Celsius higher than previous models. Additionally, the S21 comes with another new feature, low power mode, which allows it to achieve sub 16.5 joules per terahash efficiency via underclocking. When we underclock the S21 at 16 and 20 degrees Celsius, we observed that the rig ran at 157 terahashes a second with 16.1 joule per terahash efficiency and 157 terahashes a second with 16.3 joule per terahash efficiency respectively. It's worth noting that there are slight margins for error with regards to power accuracy and the GUI's hash rate reporting, but overall our findings after multiple tests at different environments were consistent. One last thing to note. The S21 is a particularly noisy model given that its fans are high powered. Out of the temperature controlled box, it produced 80 to 83 decibels. Overall, we are impressed with the Antminer S21. It's a sturdy model with never before seen design decisions, which will benefit its performance. After multiple tests at different temperatures, we were pleased to see that the model can achieve its nameplate hash rate, while also leaving room for efficiency improvements from the low power mode and hash rate maximization with overclocking. This model should prove to be a safe bet for any miner looking to boost hash rate and power efficiency before and after the 2024 Bitcoin halving in April. If you were in the market for an S21, the Luxor ASIC Trading Desk team is here to help you find the best deal on this best-in-class miner. Stay tuned as well for S21 support from the Luxor firmware team. Until next time, happy hashing, y'all!